Welcome to Handyman School. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your family and friends. Let's begin. I just wanted to share this uh, Hanson magnetic start finder that I found online. It's very cheap. I buy, spend about seven to eight dollars to get it. Uh, they're very positive about finding the stud. I have bought the electric ones um, in the past and they vary from 30 bucks to hundred dollars or so. You don't know which is the right one to buy. So um, I don't want to go ahead and buy the electric one anymore. I wanted to buy something that doesn't have battery and that actually works. I read a lot of reviews. Uh, a lot of people like this, so I went ahead and bought it. It only, it only cost me a few bucks, seven to eight dollars, as I said in the past. Um, it comes with special magnet. Uh, the magnet is pretty powerful, you know, and um, it's uh, as small as you see. It fits on your palm of your hand, and uh, you could just throw it in your toolbox, and it will be. It's a great tool to have uh, for um, finding studs. Uh, so it has many uh, significant uh, use, as you know. Uh, you know it's very important to find the stud if you want to hang the um, hang the TV on the wall or a picture frame or anything else that you're looking for a stud because um, your uh, sheet truck um, would not hold anything that's heavy. So it's a good idea to find it, and uh, I thought this was very interesting to share. So I figured um, you know I do a quick uh, review and show you guys. Uh, th this is very interesting, which I had not um, had uh, any chance of uh, using it in the past. So I went ahead and bought it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it and uh, show you some demonstration. So that's what it looks like. It fits um, in the uh, on your hand. It has two magnets, as you see. You know, and it's pretty sturdy. You know, I try to press different part of it and sturdy, and you could turn this level. Uh, horizontal or vertical, either way, and um, it's very simple, you know. But it's not heavy, lightweight, but sturdy built. I trust Hansons, you know, they've been around for a very long time. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead over to the wall. They recommend you go in the S pattern, the letter S, so that you could uh, try to see if you could get it right there. There's a nail right there, see. So when you move it around across the wall, uh, up and down, you know, and you find a nail, that's what it's looking for, a nail. As you know, the sheet truck is held uh, in place uh, with a nail or a screw uh, to the stud or a metal stud. So I want to show you a quick experiment. It's just a metal file cabinet and, uh, you know, look at the um, powerful magnet, how strong it is. I was not able to pull it out. You know, so um, this magnet is very powerful. Uh, so I had to slide it off. I was not able to pull it out at all. And look at that, it snapped off. Uh, the reason you need a strong magnet because the sheet truck could be three quarters, half inch, you know, uh, or sometimes it could be two sheet trucks over. And uh, if the magnet is not strong enough, finding a nail, you're gonna have a hard time. So this magnet is very strong. So right now I don't see anything because there's no nail. So as soon as I go over a nail, it's going to tell me, uh, you know, I will feel it right, right there. There's a magnetic pole is right there. You see, there's a nail there. So, and you have the level. So you just draw a line there and you go down. Uh, generally, um, you know, the nails or screws are done every 16 inches or so. So you just randomly go. Once you find one, you make a line up or down. They should do the click right there. There's one right here. And there's one right there. So just line it up, make uh, make a mark, and you're on your way. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your family and friends. Thank you.